Hello there, and welcome to Anders Talks Hobbies. And today we have something a little bit different and a little bit quicker, as I have actually was planning to take a bit of a break from the whole YouTube thing, but I then received this in the mail. This is from a company called Grimskald, and they reached out to me a while ago to maybe paint up a miniature of theirs for an upcoming Kickstarter, and instead sent me all of this bunch of miniatures and a book basically this is a kickstarter for a grim dark old school looking dungeon crawler game and honestly it looks pretty cool i haven't had time to read through the entire book but the quality of the book itself is great it really reminds me of the books for Frostgrave or Rangers of Shadowdeep. And I'm really excited to add this to my shelf with them as I read through it slowly. As for the miniatures, they sent me two sets. One, I guess, sample of each of the clans of dwarves they're doing. The miniatures they sent me were resin, resin printed specifically. And this is the best quality printed resin I've actually ever seen. I genuinely thought it was like something else like seal cast or some other material that I just wasn't used to but it really is just a very good flexible but strong 3D printed resin. And the miniatures aren't even going to be produced in this because apparently they're doing them in plastic, which is amazing for production of this scale. All the models come as individual bodies with interchangeable hands and a whole lot of extra equipment. From my understanding, equipping your dwarves in a certain way is a big part of how the game goes, so they give you a lot of options right out of the box. The two clans I have here, I can't remember what they're called, but one is more of a kind of classical heavy armored dwarf, very reminiscent of the stuff you see in like The Hobbit. Whereas these ones are Lanschnicked. Lanschnicked? However you say that. The thing that the old Hammer Empire looked like. That style. The hats, the funny little sleeves, that stuff. And so I couldn't resist including these in my Cities of Sigmar army I made last year. However, the only issue there is that the models I've made for that so far either have bows or spears. The only two weapons that don't come as options in these sets. So, we had to hit conversions. I went through my bits box and selected a couple of spears as well as extra bows from the actual sets I used last year and cut those up and attach those onto the best posed models I could choose. This was really simple as the models are already missing hands so I just chose the right bits, cut them to shape and glued them right on. The only extra thing I did was for the spear armed ones was sculpting a little bit of tassels around the edge with a bit of green stuff in order to match with the rest of the Empire models. Then I did up the base using a bit of uh, cardboard as uh, stone pavement tabs and filling in all the gaps with sand. As for painting, we've seen all this before because I'm painting them exactly like I did for my models last year. Basically, I do a quick Zenithal Prime of a mid-blue tone base coat and a off-white beige color from above. Then I selected a set of base colors and applied those to the models. Once those were all done, I then applied my two-toned mix of 
washes with blue washes coming up from the bottom and brown washes coming from the top. Again, you've seen this a million times with my Empire models and all the stuff from Angmar as well. But it works really well, so once that was all dry, I took the same base colors and reapplied them to the model, building up my highlights in my, once again, usual way of mixing in an off-white color into all of those original colors. Obviously the only thing I didn't do this for was the metal where I just use a bright silver straight over the washed color to get some nice contrast in the model. And that's really it. They painted up quickly and I really like the way they look. Whether they're standing around on their own or mixed in with my City of Sigmar models, these really feel like kind of lost old hammer models. They've got those dramatic, exaggerated features, the chonky style, and that very specific feel that you get from those older models, which I don't have that many of, so it was fun to do this. So, I'm going to probably slowly paint more of these up to include into this army, or maybe even build them to fit into some kind of Mordheim-themed Warcry warband. Other than that, though, I am going to sit down and really read through this book, as it seems like a really cool thing, and I'm always on the hunt for other cool rule systems, specifically when it comes to dungeon crawling, as I feel like that's a very busy area of the um, miniature hobby but there's not that many that I actually like so there's an opportunity here but thank you so much Grimskald for sending these over they look amazing go check over their uh, Kickstarter page which should have gone up either today or a couple of days ago and yeah thank you so much and uh, I'll talk to you when I talk to you my name's Anders and uh have a good one all.